Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Talflater Mouse, and today we have a treat for you, a slug all the way from Australia. These are a precision slug called Tactodrive. These are formed in a hydraulic press die, and the green coating on there is actually a powder coating, a high-tech powder coating that it, uh, reduces fouling of the barrel and rifling. These slugs also use a, what I've never seen before, a 3D printed wadding system. Let's hand these off to Greg and see how they perform. Welcome back, Top Flater Mousers. Hey, uh, today we're gonna shoot uh, from, this, is, this comes from Australia, from our boy Denver. If you look closely, they have a didgeridoo style hollow point. Good eye, It's Mike. very unique to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, first target is the uh, hydrostatic boot. Engage! Smacked it right in the horn bender. <laughs> wow. Boom. That's hydrostatic action, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, do not wear these boots into battle. <laughs> not hey, a good home defense boot. But, Denver, this is some amazing accuracy. That is point of aim, point of impact. Yep. So that's crazy. When we started shooting these slugs, it became immediately clear that they were very accurate. Even through Greg's Weatherby shotgun, which is not a shotgun you take hunting, it's a uh, defense shotgun. The shotgun does use chokes, and we put a rifle choke on there to give that slug a little bit of a spin, and it performed great. Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> and we brought out just a bunch of goofy targets to shoot at just because it's a little more interesting to see in slow motion. And it's always so much more fun when the slugs are super accurate. In fact, Greg described these as having rifle-like accuracy. They're about 20 yards away, I think. We could estimate that. Little tiny shaving cream. It seems like a very difficult target. Ready? I'm ready. Wow. Thing went hissing off That's the an left. accurate slug. That is an accurate slug. Obviously we're getting more and more confident with this slug. Shooting at a small target like that with a slug at 20 yards, we normally don't do that. Since we get such a limited number of slugs to shoot, we have to ensure that each shot counts by either bringing the target up close or having a target big enough that we could hit it at a further distance. Okay, that's one muggly mug. Ready? I'm ready. Gosh. Holy crap. Shards all the way back here. Yep. But I'll tell you what, not, that slug didn't even worry about it. Ready? Now in case you're wondering, I am showing you every single shot that we took that day. I didn't have to edit anything out. That's how consistent and precise these slugs were. With the rifle choke giving these things a little bit of a spin, they performed great. But how will they do with no spin at all through a cylinder bore shotgun? This is without a rifle choke. We want to see how these state, you know, if these are truly a universal slug. Engage! Dang it. You'll notice that we switched to a larger target. We weren't sure if we'd have the same type of accuracy without any spin stabilization. I think it's safe to say that with or without spin stabilization, the slug is equally accurate. Often slugs without any spin stabilization will have a little bit of a shimmy to them, but this one was just as steady flying through the air, which I didn't expect. Okay, on this shot, we've got the, the pot with the giant block of wood on it, and we want to see what effect the hydrostatic shock will have on that wood. Will it lift it up or will it just fall straight down, in other words? Okay, still no rifle choke. It's true, it's smooth bore. Okay, ready? Ready, blue tape. Oh, that thing sat back down on Look the table. Look at that thing skipping, it's still skipping. Really? Blue tape. Oh, that thing sat back We added a little bit of soapy water to our pot this time, just to see if we could blow a few bubbles.
he's going to take a continuous three shot uh, string here. He'll shoot, take another shot, and see where, where they're all landing. Okay, we're ready. ready. Aim at the same point you did before. That was the exact same spot, dead center Work. yet. Okay. Pretty dead it. Pretty close in there. I think skipped about 200 yards. Did it? Crikey! <laughs> Bugger me! Crikey, Denver, look at that. Even the waddings are accurate. Yeah, you could hunt with these waddings. <laughs> Save those things. Okay. They're, they're proprietary. Okay, show us your that, grouping. That's nuts. One, two, three. I think this was our first one. This was our second one, and the third one's right next to it. So now you've got the hungry little caterpillar in here. <laughs> wow. that's, that's, that's awesome. Okay, hopefully Denver's convinced that your shotgun is sighted in. I know that shotgun sighted in Denver, so that's a pretty dang good group. Yeah, you know it's accurate when the waddings are accurate too. That's impressive. Flip it around and see the backside. 40 yards. Yep. I think what's cool, what's impressive is how sharp those cuts are. Yeah, that's yeah. Like lasers cut in there. That's. I, you know, from back there, I thought these were our hits, you know, the waddings. I thought, oh, man, it's kind of all over the place, but that's, that's, that's very good. I'm, I'm, I think Denver's got a winner here. The green had very little deviation. The green that. Manalishi, the green, uh, green golden, mate. <laughs> you look like you've earned a hot and thirst that night. <laughs> and a hot and thirst deserves a Victoria Bitter. In case you're wondering why it looked like we were filming on Mars, we had a big wildfire to the west of us, so the sun was kind of shining a brownish orange. Just really nasty. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.